Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to create our character um, ragdoll effect so that once we shoot our character and it dies so that our uh, characters would ragdoll. So to set this up I'm gonna go to my third person character blueprint and we're gonna set it up over here. So what I'm gonna do is this is going to be pretty simple and pretty straightforward. I'm going to add a custom event and I'm gonna call this simulate physics and we are going to add two parameters the first one is going to be the component and this needs to be a primitive component type and the other one is going to be um, how should I name is this needs to be a bully boolean to whether we set this on or off and I'm going to call this I was gonna call this value should be good enough and we need to run this on server and we need another event which I'm gonna call server simulate physics and this one again needs to have two parameters so the first one is component and the other one I'm gonna call again the value and a boolean so from the oh and of course this one needs to be multicast and from the first one we are going to launch the second one simulate physics component value and over here we are going to do simulate set simulate physics and the value connects over here so that's that for this and another thing that I will do is um, let me explain so we have a mesh for our character and this has a collision preset character mesh and we need to change this from character mesh to physics actor in order for our uh, ragdoll to work properly so I'm going to whoops here in the event graph from this uh, server simulate physics event from the component I'm going to do set collision profile name and I'm simply just going to type inside of here physics actor so this needs to be the same name as we have for our mesh in the collision preset so physics actor and now I will go to my do damage event uh, function and I'm going to check if my health is lower or equal to zero and if this is so then I'm going to do my simulate physics event and I'm gonna set value to true since we want to simulate this now and I'm going to drag in my, my mesh as the component reference like so so now if we would go in game and let's shoot our server character then we can see our character is falling and it is kind of ragdolling and it is only kind of ragdolling because by default this character only has um, two pieces and we need to create more so how do we do that is by going to our third person character folder in the character folder we have our uh, physics asset so let's open this up and as you can see this has only two pieces so the first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make this a bit smaller so I might make this something like this and uh, like so like so and there we go and now let's create another piece let's make one for the head so I'm going to find my head in this bone structure there we have a head I'm gonna right click this and I'm gonna add a shape and for this one I'm gonna use a sphere shape let's make this smaller to fit our head so like so I'm gonna move this up a bit 
and now we can check this out by pressing simulate but as you can see our head <laughs> just fell on the ground that is because we don't have a constraint for this so we need to create a constraint how do we do that is by clicking on this uh, newly created physics body uh, component right click and we have a constraint and we need to constrain this in this case to our spine one there we go so now I will select this constraint and I will uh, in the angular limits we need to limit our um, rotations um, swing motions so I'm gonna press limit to all of these and here you can uh, select the um, value to how far you want your um, pieces to m m rotate move around basically so there we go the head stays kind of in the place but it is ragdolling pretty weirdly so we can do this a little bit low so I might do something like 10 10 let's make this 15 so now this is way better so this is pretty much it all that you need to know so I'm just going to keep on going with all of these and actually I might also make this quite a bit smaller here as well since since we don't need this as big as it is but just make sure you kind of cover your uh, character otherwise um, it will sort of it can bug in the ground and uh, sort of disappear as you can see it just fell down until it hit that uh, sphere. I'm gonna find my upper arm, add a shape, capsule, make this weight smaller, rotate in the location, and I'm going to right click this, constraint, and I'm gonna constrain this again to the spine, select the constraint itself, and limit the movements. And the other arm, again, add a capsule, make this way smaller, so my constraints are all set up and uh, let's see, so if I press simulate my character falls down something like this so the arms are separate the legs are separate everything is pretty ragdolly so that's good I'm gonna save this close this so now if we would press play and let's go let's shoot our character select the revolver aim and boom the character is now ragdolled that's that but now we have another issue that um, this character can still walk around it can still pick up objects and check this out if we would press I select the revolver this guy right here now has a revolver and we can aim at this character and shoot this one as well so that's not something that we want so let's fix this so that we wouldn't be able to walk around while we are already dead so how do we do that is in the third person character blueprint I'm going to add a new function and I'm gonna call this can we move and uh, this is going to check quite a few things so I'm gonna select my inventory variables no not inventory user interface variables first and uh, we are not going to allow to move if we have any of our UIs open which already works but we are going to modify this a bit so I'm gonna drag in all of these variables so it's just open is UI in general open and in the attack variables I also have a few so if we are attacking we are not going to move um, I'm gonna leave is smashing alone because that is just a separate variable which uh, uh, which creates a animation if we are doing um, smashing but we are anyways setting true to attacking if we are smashing so that's good if we have only attack and the rest of these variables like so so we have seven variables 
and I'm going to do a or boolean check to see if any of these is true so it's three four five six seven pins connect all of them like so now I'm gonna do a if branch check to see if any of these is true and now we need to return supple, uh, a value so I'm gonna do a parameter for the output which I'm gonna call return value and let's see so can we move if any of these is true then we are returning false but if all of these are false then we are returning true since um, the question is can we move so true over here there we go and now in the event graph I'm gonna change quite a few things so I'm gonna begin with the defaults where we have our is UI open check I'm gonna delete this is UI open and I'm gonna move in can we move function and now we need to change this to true since can we move yes we can and then we are moving if not we do not move and I will I I don't know if I did this in a video or not but I removed uh, is UI open for our mouse input because I want to be able to move my mouse and still aim while we are not allowed to move but you could leave this is UI open uh, and that should be fine just don't put in this can we move so let's continue can we move by the way if you don't know how I'm moving that from false to true I'm holding control and then clicking and then I can move this around in case if you didn't know that small little trick and there we go whoops can we move so this is all set up and also what I want to do is I want to forbid the mouse left click so that we wouldn't be able to shoot when we are dead so I'm gonna do this can we move and then I'm gonna do a if branch check and if we can move then we can proceed and I will also copy the same thing inside of my right, right mouse button where we have this false before we are picking up the items so that we wouldn't be able to pick up items as well so I'm gonna connect this over here and one thing that we are still missing is um, we never know when our character is dead and when can't it actually move because it's dead so what we should do is add a new variable and I'm gonna call this is dead and let's see in the event graph since we are doing our damage on the server side this might glitch so I will add a custom event and I'm gonna call this make me dead <laughs> I guess and uh, this needs to be a local event and I'm going to set this variable to true and now in our do damage where we are simulating the physics we can set uh, launch our make me dead event like so and in our can we move now we can add another pin which is going to check if we are dead like so and let's see if we shoot boom character died and it can't walk around great So that's going to be it for this video. As you can see my health bar went down and I did not die. That is because for our hunger system we are never checking uh, if we are alive or dead. And also we need to um, replicate uh, our variables and the events across the server. Because as of right now if we would like drink the water the server doesn't know that we have drank the water or that we have health so it will anyway uh, go down as you can see the server doesn't know this and the server still thinks that we don't have 
HP. So we're going to fix all of those issues in the next video and for now I'm saying goodbye and uh, see you guys in the next video.